Hey, Chicago. Woo! Who's alive up in here? Let me ask you a simple question. Who were, I want to hear from those who were not aborted, including those across the street. Every single life has purpose. You know, I noticed a sign across the street and it talks about um, unleash the fury of women as a mighty force. You know what the mightiest force on this planet is? Love and compassion. That's the mightiest force. If life isn't a human right, no other rights matter. So I wanna to talk to you about being unique from day one. How many here believe that you're unique? Yes. No carbon copies here. I'm from a family, a small family of 15. I have six brothers and six sisters. Some of you Catholics out there know what I'm talking about. I'm not Catholic, but I know you know what I'm talking about. So there are 15 in my family. They had three biological children and adopted 10. They are the pro-lifers who care about people after they're born. Which is all of us. We are the ones who care about life after it is born. I was adopted, I was the first one, and apparently went really well, so they adopted nine more. We're, our family is black, white, black and white, Native American, Vietnamese, adopted as newborns, adopted out of the foster care system. Every single one of us, planned, unplanned, able, disabled, every single one of us has purpose. Every single one of you has purpose. I actually wanna show you a picture, I hopefully we can get a picture of that big, Family, this is a picture of what unwanted looks like. My family, just my sisters, my brothers, their spouses, their children, no aunts and uncles. This is what unwanted looks like, people. This is what it looks like when two parents defy the world's low ex expectations. When courageous birth moms reject the violence of abortion and set forth in motion beautiful possibility. I never met my birth mom. I hope one day I'm able to because, how, I just have to ask, how many courageous, strong women are in this crowd? How many of you believe that you can overcome anything? And how many bro-life men do we have in this crowd? That's what I'm talking about. I never met my birth mom, but as a creative professional, I try to figure out a way to thank my birth mom, to thank her courage for going through nine months of a traumatic pregnancy. I want you to watch the screens right now because this is my tribute to my birth mom, to a woman who chose to be stronger than her circumstances. It kind of goes like this. My life has purpose, yeah. Your life has purpose, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. These are the things by the grace of God. And this is who I am. I'm that 1% that's used 100% of the time to justify abortion, despite the fact that my birth mom <clears throat> experienced the horror and the violence of rape. She chose to be stronger than her circumstances. And you know what? There are women out there, there are young fathers out there who need people like you to speak life and hope into them. And to help them understand that not only their unborn child is unique from day one, but they are unique from day one. Amen? And my birth mom's singular decision enabled these beautiful reverberations. And I wanna show you a picture of the most beautiful reverberations in my life. Can we show that last picture? This is my fam, people. We're the bomb burgers, they call us the bombs. My son, Justice, who was adopted, my oldest daughter, Ray Ray, her name is Radiance, the reason for the name of our organization, the Radiance Foundation. My wife was a single mom for two years. She understands the pain and the confusion and the fear that young women face, but she chose to be stronger than her circumstances and Radiance beautifully and radically transformed her life. And I was able to become her dad when she was two years old. And my son, Makai, and my little daughter, Aaliyah, and my favorite person on the planet, my wife, Bethany, who was the one in charge of the Radiance Foundation, because I have no problem with a woman being in charge. Can I get an amen? We are unique from day one. Whether you are planned, just say after me, planned, planned. unplanned, unplanned. Able, able, or differently abled. Life has purpose. 
God bless you, Chicago. Keep fighting on. Woo!